Hi, today we are going to balance subtraction equations with operands up to 1,000. I love doing these because it's a way to practice balancing equations. We're used to just having an equation say something like 7 minus 2 equals what? 5. But we might not be used to seeing it written like this, where we have to have one side equal the other side, okay? And that's what we're doing today. When we have equations, equations can be represented in all sorts of ways. They don't always have to be like this. As long as the numbers on each side match, that's what matters, okay? So, first problem is blank minus three equals seven minus two. So we need to find out what goes here. In order to figure that out, I need to first solve what seven minus two is. And we just said seven minus two is five. So that means whatever number goes in that box, when it's subtracted by three, will also equal five. Now here's the great thing. Subtraction and addition work together. So when I am missing the first number in a subtraction equation, guess what I can do to these two numbers? I can add them and that will give us the missing number here. So if I have five plus three, that equals eight. So that means eight goes here. And let's check it. Is eight minus three, five? Yes, it is. So that means eight minus three equals seven minus two. Next one, we have six minus five equals blank minus six. So we don't know what goes here, but we do know that we can solve the first half. What is six minus five? Six minus five equals one. Good job. So that means what does my other half of my equation have to equal? That also has to equal one. What do I see? This is the first number on that side missing. So what do I have to do? I can use addition to find that missing number. So what is one plus six? That's seven. So that means the seven goes here. And let's check it. Is seven minus six one? It is. So that makes this true. Six minus five equals seven minus six. Five minus two equals blank minus three. Okay, so we know we can solve five minus two. What is five minus two? That is three. Great, so that means we need to figure out what will go in that box to also make that half of the equation equal three. Is it the first number in this part of the equation? It is, so what can we use to find out what's missing? Addition, right, three plus three equals six. So that means six goes in that box. Is that true? Is six minus three, three? Absolutely. So five minus two equals six minus three. Which number makes this equation true? Blank minus four equals six minus five. What is six minus five? It's one, good job. So we need to figure out what number will go in that box to also make this side equal one. Are we missing the first number in the box? We are. So what can I do with the one and the four? Add them, one plus four equals five. So that means five should go in that box. Is five minus four 
One. It is, so that means that's our answer. Five minus four equals six minus five. Next, which number makes this equation true? Blank minus seven equals five minus four. All right, let's figure it out. We can figure out five minus four first. Five minus four equals what? That equals one, good job. So we also need to figure out what this side would need to be to also equal one. So what can I do with the seven and the one? I'm missing that first number. So what goes there? We're adding that equals eight. So is it true that eight minus seven equals one? Yes, it is. So that's our correct answer. Eight goes in that box. Next one, two minus one equals nine minus blank. Okay, so we know that two minus one equals one. Now look at our first box is not blank. Our first box has a nine in it. So that means we need to figure out what goes in that second box. I'm not going to add. I know that I want my answer in the end to be one, but watch what happens if I add. If I do nine plus one, I'm going to get 10. Should 10 go in that box? Is nine minus 10 one? No, it's not, so that doesn't work. Since it's the second number that's missing, we can subtract 9 minus 1, because we want that to be our end answer, equals what? 8. So if I put 8 in the box, let's check. Is 9 minus 8 1? Yes, good job. So the rule is, if you're missing the first number in the equation, you add. If you're missing the second number in the half of the equation, you subtract. So three minus one equals seven minus blank. Okay, three minus one equals what? Two, good job. Now, that means we want seven minus blank to also equal two. So let's look. Am I missing the first number or the second number? I'm missing the second number. So are we going to add or subtract the seven and the two? Subtract, the second number means we subtract. So what is seven minus two? Five, because it's a fact family. So if I have a fact family, that means I can rearrange these and still get the same answers, okay? Seven, two, and five work together. So the missing number is five. Let's do another one. Six minus blank equals three minus two. So we're missing that number, but we can figure out that three minus two equals what? One. How about the first part? We also want that to equal one, but am I missing the first number or the second number? I'm missing the second number. So what do I need to do with the six and the one? Am I going to add them to find that or subtract to find it? Subtract because it's the second one. So six minus one equals five. So our answer is five. Next, blank minus one equals eight minus seven. Okay, let's do it again. We know eight minus seven equals one. We need to figure out what number minus one also equals one. But what do you notice? Is this the first or second number in that half? It's the first. So what do I do with my one and my one? I add them, good job. So one plus one equals two. So our missing number is two. Good job. 
Let's try one more. 2 minus 1 equals blank plus 3. All right, 2 minus 1 equals 1. We need to make this side also equal 1. What do we notice? Am I missing the first or second number in this part of the equation? I'm missing the first part. Good job. So I have 1 and 3. Am I going to add or subtract? I'm going to add. So 1 plus 3 equals 4. So in order for this to be true, 2 minus 1 equals 1 and 4 minus 3 equals 1. So my answer is 4. Way to go. You did an amazing job.